My name is Kyla Kennedy and I played Mika Samuels on season four of The Walking Dead and you're watching Walker Nation. Success. WalkerNation.net. Yeah. All right, Walker Nation, Dave Solo back with you at Walker Soccer Con Chicago. This is a moment that I've been waiting for for a long time. You all know this amazing lady to my right. It's Emma, it's Emma Bell, Amy on The Walking Dead. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's great to finally see you and talk to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've got a lot of people tell me that they've been trying to see me at these conventions. I've, you know, I've, I've wanted to go to a lot of them, but then last minute things happen. So I'm happy to be here and be able to finally be here in Chicago. And even when we see you, the line's long. You know, your character was so amazing on The Walking Dead. Who, who didn't love Amy? There's nobody out there. Yeah, she's coming for you if you didn't. Uh, such a complex character. We saw her, you know, go through so much with her sister. What was it like for that, like, you know, emotional roller coaster on the show? It was fantastic. I mean, it's the sort, it's the sort of stuff that, that I look for as an actress, you know. Um, Lori Holden, who played Andrea, was a very big part of that. We, we really decided early on that we were going to be as close to being sisters as we possibly could. Um, and so we just sort of fell in love. Like, we just kind of, like, we worked together every day, and we, we made sure to, like, get dinners and talk about boys and, you know, do the things that sisters do so that we'd have, like, a real authentic relationship um, on camera. Um, and so those scenes, all, although emotionally taxing, were very, you know, kind of easy. It just sort of kind of happened, you know, uh, and, and that has a lot to do with Lori. But it was also very sad. It was really sad when I had to go. It, that kind of closeness made leaving that much more traumatic, in a sense. Um, so She went so well, though. You know, it was one of the most, no, one of the most impactful, you know, deaths and, you know, with Andrea sitting there with her and she went really, really well. What was that scene like to shoot? We had to, you know, lay there for a while. It was a long scene to shoot. Um, I was covered in blood, as everyone knows. It was really hot that day and we're laying in the sun and I'm covered in blood, which is basically just corn syrup, so it's sugar. Yeah. And like all the bugs in the area just found me. And I'm laying there, you know, having to be dead. And of course, I can't freak out because ants are crawling on me if I'm dead, you know. So, a lot of the, most of the other scenes in the camp around my death, I'm actually in the background. That's me. That wasn't a dummy. So, for a number of days for episode five, I was just hanging out, hanging out, you know, covered in bugs and fake blood. But um, when it came to the actual reanimation bit of the scene where I come back, that was also very emotional. I mean, Lori did such an amazing job of handling that. But for me, I knew I was dying. Like, it was a weird feeling. Like, I knew I was dead, but I was a zombie, so I still had to be alive. But I also knew I was leaving all these people that I'd grown to love. And I, I wanted to cry. Like, I actually started to cry um, in a lot of the takes. And then I realized, like, zombies don't cry. Yeah, can't be an emotional zombie. So I had to, like, pull it back, Emma. Pull it back. Um, it was hard. It was really hard to leave. Yeah, I've seen though. So what can we see you uh, coming up in soon? What can we see you next? I just finished season three of Dallas uh, for TNT, which I think everyone can still see online. Unfortunately, they canceled us, so I'm now back in the, uh, I'm available. Yeah. And I'm um, going through a couple options for TV and film, so hopefully one of them will stick. Are you aware that there's a huge push to have you in the new Star Wars? I am aware of that, and it's like my favorite thing in the world. I have already told my agents but there's a big fan base out there who'd like to see me in Star Wars, yeah. um, Star Wars 8. Yeah. So, so we'll see. Every member of Walker Nation, make sure you tweet that, make sure yes. you push that. Yes, that those things actually matter. They really do. Studios look at that. So if you think I should be in Star Wars 8, tweet at me and t tweet at Star Wars 8 and just start tweeting about it. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Thank you, thank you. Last question. The zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. What's the first thing that you're going to do? Wow, that's a great question. Holy crap. I think I would drive as far as I could to the coastline. You know, because then you don't have to worry about zombies on one side of you. You know, you just set up a camp so that only, you know, you only have to worry about a little bit of, yeah. of angle. I always, you know, being in the woods clearly doesn't work. Right. Maybe being on a mountaintop would be better because you could see them coming, but you're still not safe. I feel like you got to be by the water. So that's where I would go. Smart. Real smart. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's great to finally have you on. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks.